for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back Money Team. In today's video I will continue my Madden 2014 preview series where we look at the upcoming rosters to find out who will be the best team to use in Madden 24. I already did a video on the top 5 worst teams to use so if you want to know what teams to avoid I will have a link in the description as well as an on screen pop up at the end of the video. And if you want to see more videos from this series like top 10 defenses, top 10 teams to build in the CFM, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button and let me know in the comment sections. I plan on doing a weekly video on this topic until Madden 24 releases next month. Now starting off at number 10, let's just show you how good this list is. We have the cover athlete Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Now with Josh Allen obviously you have one of the best quarterbacks in the game. When you go to the running back spot, you actually have quite a few good options although you don't really have a clear number one uh, but definitely a lot of good running backs in your stable then you get to the receiving core and this is why this team's not rated higher they do have Stefan Diggs who's a really good player but after that you really struggle to find a good number two you go to the tight end spot though and they're really good once again with Dawson Knox having a seven speed and Dalton Kincaid who might be your best option for your second receiver because not a lot of people like two tight end sets but that'll really depend on his speed then you get to the offensive line and they're just kind of average this year's Madden 24 offensive line is important so there's a couple things missing that keeps this team from being high on the list next up we have the kansas city chiefs with patrick mahomes probably being the best quarterback in the entire game will probably be a 99 overall you're gonna make the list just based off of him and travis kelsey alone but after that they don't really have a great running back they just have a bunch of guys then you get to the receiving core and it's even worse i mean their highest rated guys are 75 at the end of the day the only thing that really matters is speed anyway he has a 93 speed uh marcus valdez scaling has a 95 and if you go all the way down the list you also have john ross hiding in the in the bushes down here as a 95 overall but if he doesn't make the final roster the second that the updated rosters come out, he's going to be gone. But if you have him, you have two guys that are 95 speed, which is huge. Travis Kelsey, obviously the best tight in the game, 9 on overall. I'm sure that'll continue. And then you get to the offensive line. They don't really have any superstars, which is a big weapon this year. But if Joe Thune or Creed Humphrey get that upgrade to a superstar or they get an X Factor or something like that, they might be they might turn to those type of blockers that are just bullying people over. Next up, we have a team that isn't quite as top heavy in the Cleveland Browns. They have a really good quarterback in Deshaun Watson, still probably one of the best in the game. They got one of the best running backs in the game in Nick Chubb. This is one of the best running teams, too, once we get to the offensive line, which I'll show you. You have Amari Cooper, who is their highest rated re receiver. He's a superstar. Uh, he's got a 92 speed, which is very good. But after that, they actually have quite Quite a few good options for players to build up as well. Guys like Elijah Moore, who they got from the Jets, who I think is only coming into his second year. Donald People Jones is young. Both these guys got decent profiles, but you also have a lot of speed in Marquis Goodwin hiding on the roster. Jakeem Grant's a 93 speed. He could be a good option. And then don't forget Anthony Schwartz, who's a 96 speed, hiding all the way at the bottom here. I'm sure he'll still make the roster. You get the tight end, you have David Njoku, who's a very good former first round pick. Going to the offensive line, they have a really good offensive line. They have guys like Joel Botone who doesn't have a superstar rating but at 93 he'll probably be getting those same type of pancake animations i'm talking about that really are huge in madden 24 and then you have a superstar in wyatt teller next up we got the ravens and a big part of that is lamar jackson once again he's probably the most broken quarterback in the game you got jk dobbins who's a very good running back guts edwards is a decent player as well you get to the receiving core and they have a lot of talent there as well which is probably their biggest issue last year they brought in odell beckham to give you a good number one receiver rashad bateman a good uh you know he's a rookie last Last year, decent speed, decent profile. Had Zay Flowers, I think, was a second round pick. We'll see what his speed comes in, but right now it, they have it listed as a 92. Their best receiver, though, is going to be a tight end in Mark Andrews. You get to the actual offensive line, too, which, like I said, this year matters. You got a superstar in Ronnie Staley, so if he pulls out and kicks out on the cornerback, he's going to bulldoze those guys. Next up, we got the Chargers. We're back with another superstar quarterback in Justin Herbert. Anytime you have a superstar quarterback like this, you've got a pretty good chance of making this list because that makes the entire game easier. But they also got a lot of weapons around him. Guys like Austin and Keller, maybe the best receiving running back in the game. Going to the receiving core, they don't have a ton of speed, but they do have a basketball team. Guys like Keenan Allen at six foot two, who I think is a superstar. Mike Williams has a superstar right next to him. He's a six foot four. They also got Quinn Johnson, their first round pick. Another six foot three guy with speed that can jump. Then you get to tight end. They have a couple of decent tight ends there as well. Offensive line, Rashawn Slater is one of the best left tackles in the game, so he might fall in that category where he's bulldozing and pancaking DBs. 
Corey Lindsley, also one of the best centers in the game. Next up, we're starting at the top five with the Dallas Cowboys. Dak Prescott is a good quarterback. He's solid, has everything you need to run an offense, decent speed, good throw power. You go to running back, though, and they start getting a little bit better. Tony Pollard's probably one of the best running backs in the game because of his 93 speed. Going to receiver, CeeDee Lamb, superstar. You have Brandon Cooks, who they added in the offseason, a superstar, will probably be the fastest receiver on the roster out of the top three receivers, including Michael Gallup. But in my opinion, Kevontae Turpin, their return man, is a 95 speed. I'd probably put him at slot receiver and start those three guys because of the speed difference. You get to tight end, though, and this is where they kind of lose a little bit. Luke Schoonemaker is, I think, a second-round rookie. He might be their best option. Then you get to the offensive line, and I'm sure Tyron Smith's not going to be a superstar anymore. His rating will probably go down. Zach Martin, you have a superstar guy who's going to be pancaking DBs. Next up, we have one of my favorite sleeper teams to use, and that's the Seahawks. Geno Smith is very similar to uh, Dak Prescott as far as he's just, you know, solid. Uh, Kenneth Walker, though, this guy here probably might be, I mean, he's very similar to Tony Pollard in regards to speed. Uh, another very good young player, but they also drafted Zach Charbonnet, who I think was their second round pick. So you have two really good young running backs. You get to the receiving core. DK Metcalf is probably one of the best receivers in the entire game. Six foot four, 95 speed. Not a lot of profiles in history that can make that argument. Guys like Calvin Johnson, Julio Jones. That's the type of range you're looking at with that type of physical profile. Then you got Tyler Lockett, who's a 93 speed. Jackson Smith and Jigba, which was a first round pick for them. And Dwayne Eskridge, who was a second round pick just last year. You go to tight end, once again, this is where they separate themselves from the Cowboys because they actually have one. In Noah Fant, who's an 89 speed. It's one of the fastest Titans in the game. So even more speed added to this roster. Next up, we might have the fastest team in Madden history in the Miami Dolphins. The only real issue is Tua Tungvaloa's arm, which is only like an 84 or something like that. Doesn't really have the arm to maximize the talent around him, but he's still a good quarterback. Still a good young quarterback if you're playing CFM. You move on to the running backs. Raheem Mostert, maybe the fastest running back in the game at a 95 speed or the second fastest in the game, depending on what Devin A. Chain's speed is whenever they finalize the rookie rating. Moving on to receiver. Two of the fastest receivers in the entire game on the same team. And Tyree Kill at a 99 speed and Jalen Waddle at a 97 speed. They still have Robbie Anderson too, who they picked up so you have a third receiver at a 94 speed. Next up, we have what might have been the best offense in Madden 23, one of the hardest offenses to stop anyway, and that's the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You got Joe Mixon, one of the better running backs in the game, but they also did draft Chase Brown. Their receiving core, though, might have the best three wide receiver set in the entire game with Chase T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd, all of them really good. And then last but not least, call me a homer if you want to, but I got the Philadelphia Eagles as the number one offense in the game. Jalen Hurts is also one of the best young quarterbacks in the game. He finally got some superstar love at the end of the year. At running back, they lost uh, Miles Sanders, but they brought in guys that look very similar in Rashad Penny and DeAndre Swift. You go to the receiving core, you got A.J. Brown who's one of the best receivers in the game. Devontae Smith who's one of the best young receivers in the game. And Quez Watkins is one of the fastest receivers in the game. You go to tight end by one of the best dual threat tight ends in blocking and receiving in Dallas Goddard. Then you have the offensive line. This is really what sets them apart. You got bulldozers like Jordan Mulata, Landon Dickerson are both really, you know, high impact block players. Then you have guys like Jason Kelsey and Lane Johnson who are superstars who are going to be, you know, pancaking DBs, which is something that is definitely a big part of Madden 24. So this is my take for the best offense in the game. If you guys want to see what my take is for the best defenses in the game, make sure to be a subscriber because I'm going to do that next week. Other than that, I have a top five worst teams video popping up on screen. So if you guys want to see that, I'll just click the link. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.